welcome to my channel and today this is going to be a very impromptu video um my hair got wet in the rain and as you guys know it was straightened and no i didn't straighten it myself i did get it done by a stylist but it's time for it to be washed and i'm going to try something new i'm going to try to do like an experiment tonight so i decided to film it so if you are watching this video then that means that i was halfway successful apparently and um what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to do a ponytail um rod set i have no idea how it's going to turn out um so if you guys are interested just stay with me and i'm going to wash and deep condition my hair and i'll come back with clean hair and show you guys the styling process um and just for informational purposes you guys know that my shampoo i'm using is the shea moisture black jamaican castor oil looks like this this is what I'm going to shampoo with and today I will be trying out for the first time the Manuka Honey and Murfura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask so this is my first time trying this line from Shea Moistures for the um, deep conditioner so I'm excited to see how I like this I'll give you guys like I'll tell you guys how I like it when I come back from deep conditioning so just stay with me I am back with freshly washed hair um my curls did come back from being straightened and I almost did a wash and go because they were kind of popping but I didn't I really do want to try to see how this style is going to come out um you guys I am 100% winging it and what I'm going to do is go ahead and put my hair into ponytails and I'm going to use these different sizes rods to put on the ends of my hair. I have, I have these three. I have a small one, this pink one, and then I have this peach one. And then I also have these green ones. They're bigger. So I have no idea exactly um how this is going to turn out but what I plan on doing is go ahead and section it off my hair into the different ponytails I'm going to just use some regular rubber bands so I can cut them tomorrow when I take them down um, and I'm going to use the Shea Moisture um, Curling Mousse uh, to style with and I'll be using just a little bit of gel on the um, on my actual roots because my roots need uh, help laying down so I will be using a little bit of eco style gel on my roots and those are all the those are the only products that I'll be using so I'm going to just go ahead and do this and like I said this is a experiment and I just want to bring you guys along with me to see how the hairstyle will turn out and you guys just keep watching
guys so I just finished um, putting in the last rod what I did was I put the bigger ones kind of in the back and then the smaller ones in the front um, once again this is an experiment so I have no idea how this is going to turn out in the morning um, I am going to sit under a hooded dryer probably for about an hour and then I'm actually going to sleep with this because it does take my hair a while to dry so I'm going to sleep overnight with this. This is just the finished product and again all I used was the Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse and I used a little Eco Styler Gel and I also, um, I said I wasn't going to put anything else but I did um, put some raw Shea Butter restorative conditioner from Shea Moisture um, in my hair as well that's going to help give it the shine and sheen that it needs and moisture um, so we shall see what happens and how this all comes out when I come back to you my hair will be almost dry or 100% dry and we'll see what the results are okay so alright y'all until the morning good morning you guys so like I said, this is an experiment. So this video is not a tutorial. It is a hair experiment. So it's not going to be as step-by-step -step as the other tutorials because I am just going by, you know, what's happening. And I started to take out the rods um, because what I'm going to do, my hair doesn't, my hair never dries all the way completely with the rods in. So what I have to do is take the rods out and then sit under the dryer for probably about 30 minutes and then it'll be dry so I want to show you guys that what I did was I took the actual ponytail out so they're not in the ponytails anymore I wanted it to dry all the way so I took all the um, scrunchies off and I sat in the dryer for about 15 minutes and I am taking these um, rods down right now and it's coming out really good so we shall see what I'm going to do like I said is take all the rods down and then sit under the dryer and I'll come back to you guys to show you what it looked like and how I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna style it okay all right bye so I am back with my dried hair and I promise this is the same day I just changed my shirt because it got hot under that dryer but it's looking like it's gonna be really really good really good um, the only thing I can say is just make sure your hair is dry, honey. Because once you start separating these things, you want them to be 100% dry. I just sat under the dryer for another 15 minutes after I took the um, spirals out. And <clears throat> here I am. What I am going to do, I mean, my hair doesn't need any real oil or anything. But just to combat frizz, I am going to use this Shea Moisture Jamaican Black castor oil the um strength and grow restorative hair serum this little guy here just gonna put a few drops in my hands and rub it through my hair and then i am going to separate so this looks like it's going to be a really good style so those of you who want to try the um the perm rods but you haven't been too successful with your turnouts like me because I've tried to do a perm ride on myself and I was not successful at it. Now, I can go to a stylist and let them do it and it comes out perfectly. But for some reason, when I do it myself, it just doesn't come out the same. But this looks like it's pretty promising. Um, <clears throat> now, if you want to, you can go through with a blow dryer for your roots. But that was the purpose of me putting a gel on it to kind of lay it down. So I want it to be, you know, kind of big and have volume. So I'm going to leave my roots alone and see what it looks like as I separate. So I'm going to stop chatting. And like I said, I'm going to rub a little oil on my hair and separate. And you guys can just stay tuned to watch.
this so I told you it was an experiment and <laughs> my battery died halfway through me finishing unraveling but I showed you guys what I was doing all I was doing was unraveling and this is my results and I kind of kind of like it it's really curly right now I know over the next few days I have no idea what is going to happen to it I'm probably going to put it up in a pineapple to keep the curls um it is um like a little frizzy at the roots like I said you can go through with the blow dryer to fix that but I don't mind that's gonna get my nerve I don't mind a little frizz um I'm probably gonna it has that um gel cast on it right there so once that loosens up a little bit more it's gonna be even better and I want to show you guys the back you guys can see the back is all curly like I said there is some frizz but you know what you do what you gonna do by a little frizz but I'm loving it you see I keep turning my head it's really bouncy it's not weighed down it's movable um I really like it so if you guys are looking for a way to um combat doing a roller set and you feel like you can't do it maybe you can try doing the ponytail roller set and it comes out freaking cute and it's amazing i'm glad that i did this experiment on my hair so i'm telling you guys the main thing that i do with my hair all the time is just try stuff you never know what your hair is going to do you never know how it's going to come out so if you do have some extra time sometimes just try stuff experiment and see what happens because now i have a popping hairstyle and i'm gonna get ready and go and i might do a get ready with me i don't know but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.